What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went to the, um, Pokemon Palace and the Trophy Garden. Caught ourselves a Leah, the Pichu. And now it is time for us to continue on right here in Route 212. I know it's going to be a little short right here. Um, not exactly short as in, like, an episode, but, um, just a few battles here and there, you know, that kind of stuff. I kind of want to battle, double battle those two people right there, you know. Yes. And, uh, yeah, you see what happens when you're a little too quick to the trigger. You see, this is what I'm using for my Nintendo Switch right there. Or, is it, yeah, it's a Switch, yeah, my bad. <laughs> so, yes, here we are taking on Madam Regina. Oh, Reina, Reina my bad. <laughs> Oh, man, I have, uh, it has been a while for me to be here. Wow. Anywho, so how's you guys doing? Uh, how's it going? You guys doing good? Great, fantastic. I'm doing great because, well, look at that. Rosalia defeated. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. And, well, this would have, I don't think it would have been, like, a short battle, probably. I whatever the intention was to grab this and yeah I guess I ruined that double battle for some reason or something like that anywho uh, let's see last episode what did I talk about motivations to be here back or be back here onto YouTube um, I also talked about burnout and all that crud and uh, let's see well some of you guys some of you guys have been asking about uh, what kind of equipment do I use here on YouTube for, you know, the green screen. Um, I think it was this walkthrough right here that I'm... Like, see, I don't even think I finished up a, a complete walkthrough with me. Like, you know, showing me here. Me. 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 Yeah. We haven't, we haven't done that yet. And, uh... Well, um... I could talk about it right now, just so I can, you know, keep you guys entertained and all that stuff. Because I know that some of you guys are, like, aspiring Poketubers and all that crud. Um, some of you guys. Um, not all of you guys. But some. And, well, let's see what, what's going on right here. Uh, yeah, relaxing comfortably. Let's see. Uh, hi! Hanging in there, trainer? Yes, I am. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, if my Pokemon can only move! Ugh. Okay, so you can only battle these security guys at nighttime. I'm not even gonna just talk to this guy. I'm just gonna go right here. Uh, there is one little thing, and is that you know, we don't have the surf technique yet. I think we can get it at some point. I think that's why it said go go back to Pastoria or something like that. So, like, see, among the trees that you can smear with honey, there are lucky trees and not so lucky trees. If you want to lure rare Pokemon, you have to find lucky trees. And where, oh, where are we going to find the lucky trees? It should literally says, say right there, lucky tree. Smear me right here. Yeah, never mind. I'm not even walking. Wow. Anywho, uh, yeah, we got done with Route 212 and... Well... The next thing we need to do is, let's see, do, 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 try exploring uh, Pastoria City. I'm going to click, the, where's the plus button right here? Hmm, trying to figure this controller out. Um, let's see, what if I do this? No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Which one was the plus one? Hmm, How about this one. Ah. Wow, it literally has been a while for me since I've actually played this game. Um, okay, um... Anywho, uh, let's see. Huh. Yeah, well, let's go back to Pistoria. So, as many of you guys already know, uh, if you have a flag right here, this usually means that there's a mission afoot and all that crud. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to travel all the way back to Pastoria. So I'll be right back with you guys. Wow, do I feel dumb. Uh, this is how you know it has been a while since uh, I've actually been here. I forgot I had uh, fly. So I took up five minutes of this whole time just getting on my bike. Wow. Way to go, Draven. Way to go. 
Anywho, we're back here at Pastoria City, and I'm assuming that, well, there is something afoot right here with uh, this guy. Haha, <laughs> the package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. This is an important mission. No failure allowed! No making boo-boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. Oh, wow. And, uh, he's like, You were eavesdropping! I was just talking loudly to myself. If, if I wasn't in a hurry, I'd polarize you with my Pokemon. But I have to get on my way to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out! Oh, and listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. I do what I want. Okay, so what we're gonna do is do the complete opposite, because I seem to do that a lot lately. And, well, here it is. <laughs> Persistent pest. If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Our boss's ideal world is going to be created. So I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't come chasing after me. I... Oh, great. <laughs> I forgot that this guy... That guy... Is... Uh, exists. Barry's here, he's like, whoops! <laughs> Not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Draven? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Oh. Well, I forgot about this. Great! So, we're taking on that thing right here. Barry. Yeah, we're taking on that dude, and he still has a Starly. So, I'm gonna come out with uh, the cheat code himself, Monfernomon. And uh, we're gonna be very, 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 very... What the heck? That just happened. Uh, act faster than, with a quick... Seriously? Okay, I'm a little upset now. Yeah, time to roast that chicken. Yeah. How's that feel, Barry? I always knew I hated that dude for some reason. Okay, so he's coming out with a print club. All right, time to ruin this kid's childhood. Okay, so we're returning Mon Fernamon and we're gonna go with Electro Star. There is a very darn good reason to why I do not like him. And that is it, it's anno he's annoying. Just like, what's his face? Hop, or yeah, Hop in Sword and Shield. Oh my God. Anywho, let's go with uh, Shockwave right here. Come on, finish it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna be very, very, very bad to this guy. There you go. No more Pokemon. And look at this, our Pokemon are growing levels, three of them. And Electrostar wants to learn a new move, and that is Volt Switch. This right here. So Volt Switch, after making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places with a party of Pokemon in waiting. This is a special attack right here. And from what I can see, it is evened up, so... You know what, let's go with the charge. Charge doesn't really do much for me much anymore, so... Whatever. So, there we go. Charge for Volt Switch, and Monferno Mon grows to level 38. Starblade to level 36. And uh, here comes Roselia. Let's go ahead and go with Starblade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. So, here comes Roselia, and I kinda want to use Roselia, but, oh man, the work that I have to do. And we all know how lazy I get. Not really. So, let's go with an aerial ace attack for the win. Eat it, Roselia. That's right. Your badass host is kicking butt tit yet again. And, well, there's more points, and, well, here comes a Ponyta. Let's go with Hydra. Yes, I got type advantages all over the place. Oh, yes, Hydra. Let's go, Hydra. Let's do it, Hydra. And this guy's like, yeah, I can tell you raised your Pokemon to be tough. Tough? Oh, we're going to be super tough on you. So, time to, uh, you know, time to make this guy uh, cry just a little or talk, you know, his ish. Just a little bit more, so here comes a waterfall attack for the win, and say goodbye to Ponyta. That's right. Kicking some butt, taking some names, more points, and Barry is like, what just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yes. He's still gonna be talking his ish, you guys. He's gonna be doing that. <laughs> yeah, maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit, so yeah, I got beat because I was careless. As always, you're like a Dallas Cowboys fan. You have excuses and nothing but excuses. Yeah. Fuck the Cowboys. 
<laughs> See how I bleeped that? <laughs> so, hey! What was the Team Galactic guy all freaking about? Hmm, I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him, out, chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon and you're run like that, you're a bad guy. Alright, Draven, next time. I'm not going to hold back. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's move on forward and find that uh, bull-headed guy right here. And, uh, well, let's see. He's not here. Uh, you know what? Let's be smart. Let's use... Uh, Let's use repels because uh, I, I really do not like wild Pokemon. They annoy me, especially here in generation. Well, especially in this game, when you battle a wild Pokemon, the experience point is like minimal. So there he is, and let's see what he has to say. We need make. Uh, we needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would uh, make. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. What is he? What, 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 what do you mean? Grah! You were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you down around. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and run after him because, well, that's exactly what he wants us to do. No, we're not going to use a repel because, well, we're not in Wild's Pokemon spot anymore. And, uh, let's see. I believe in this area you can actually heal your Pokemon. So, let's see. We're going to go to this guy. And, well, we're healing up our Pokemon. That's pretty good since this resort area right here doesn't really have uh, a Pokemon Center, I think. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so where, oh, where is uh, our bullheaded uh, friend? Ah, there he is. <laughs> Why am I running like this anyway? That new universe the boss was talking about? It's giving me goosebumps thinking about it. So we use this... Hmm. Huh. You are eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent, too. I'm pooped out from all the running. But now I'm not going to battle you. You, I think you should battle me. And, uh... Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna battle this guy. He, 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 he really needs to fix up on his cardio. Uh, may I recommend a very good trainer? <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Anywho. Let's see. Aw, oh, no! You're still on my tail! The legs within sight! You leave me no choice, my Pokemon will knock you out. Okay. So here it is, the long-anticipated battle between us and this guy right here. Team Galactic Grunt, and he only has one Pokemon, wow. I... yeah. So here it is, the springy cat thingy, and uh, here we have Monfernomon. Alrighty. Monfernomon, let this Pokemon catch your hand. So here we go, close, co close combat. And there we go, Glammeow caught those hands. All of it. Including his feet. It's like a monkey. Like that too. Posable fingers, I think. And well, look at that. Mute Uno gets to level 48. And well, his grunt is all like, huh, if I didn't run, I could have battled harder. No, not really. Not really. Okay, so after defeating this guy, he's like, I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Um, okay. Alrighty, and, uh, well, would you look at that? Well, hello there. How's it going there? Oh, hello, long time no see. How is your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't see, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard of the folklore about it? Mm. They say that there is a an island inside the lake, and the mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen a group of Psyduck uh, right around Route 210? Yes, I have. I have, yeah. Yes, that's right. By the cafe near Route 210, you've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in, heads, uh, heads in their hands, right? Anyway, that should do it. Uh, that should do the do is a or you should do is use this medicine on the side Wow, I cannot read properly. So <laughs> still hasn't changed. Wow. And you're working on the Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. Look at that. We got ourselves a secret machine or secret medicine. Wow, dyslexia too, huh? And I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon that you're searching for. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. I'll see you later. 
Hmm. And, uh, well, let's see. We have to help the group of Psyduck. Anywho, we're going to pause it right here, guys. It's been fun, and I know that I didn't talk about what kind of equipment I use and all that crud. Um, that will be in the next episode. I got caught up with this whole battling thing here, so yeah. <laughs> Anywho, guys, I want to say thank you again for watching my walkthroughs. Um, be patient as always, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here, going straight to Route 210. See you guys.